back. Welcome back to Goji Room. You know where the music is hot and the vibes are chill. I'm your boy Ruby. You know that guy's cool your fucking baby daddy. And tonight we got Jack Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is like part two, part not two, part plus two, part. It's a whole thing. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, part the same thing. So um, we're going to go back to the game. We're going to go to the beginning. So, Ja, how did you start your little thing? You know, I've seen your other interviews, you know, but we doing things a little bit different around here in Goldie's Room. You know what it is? We get to the heart of everything. This is how you my dog, because you be doing your work. <laughs> oh, God. So what happened was I was born in this shit. Mm-hmm. No cap. Like, it was really just, like, instilled in me. And then one day I was just like, hey, I know how to do this hella good. And I was like, nah. Nah. And then I turned, like, 11, and I was, like, a gangster rapper, like. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, the whole middle school Jarika phase of your life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I know about that. You I do my research and shit. You know me. Um, during that whole phase of your career, can you tell me, like, when you got initiated, or, or I guess what they say, uh, jumped off the porch, right? Is that how they say it? I jumped off the porch when I was, like, the middle of my seventh grade year. Yeah? I well, wanted to fight this girl so bad, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to be friends. I don't know what she did, but I was like, I'm going to punch her so hard when I see her. Mm-hmm. And then I seen and I punched her hella hard. Bah. And then I, like, stopped and let her get up. So we was banging. It was, like, a good fight. But anyways, that was when I jumped off the porch. And then I started rapping about that shit, like, yeah, beating bitches up. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you can rap that shit. You got some bars? You I don't say? know what I was saying. Right. I was saying some gangster shit, but I just don't remember and what And then I was you got the, the attention of the, the Crips? S- uh, no, man. I was a Crip. I was born in that shit. Were you? Yeah. My whole family, kitchen crib. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, exp- explain that. Like, what is that like as a female in that whole in that environment? It's really... Because I noticed in other interviews, you don't even talk about that. It's really judgmental. People, like, look at me and think I don't have a job or that I'm, like, stupid <laughs> or something like that. But I probably make my money than they daddy, no cap. Yeah, because you... I mean, I mean, you made an Instagram post that you took down or just expired or whatever that you said you got a dude in the feds that pay your mortgage. You got a... Mortgage get paid by a nigga in the feds. No yeah. more corn notes, bitch. I dropped a couple bands. Hey. Paid 60000 for baguettes on my neck. No cap. Is that real? No cap, nigga. No, no, not the necklace. I mean, is that a real... Bar- oh, that real? That yeah, real? That's, I mean, my mortgage don't get paid by a nigga in the feds. No oh, more. It did. He went in the feds now. His oh. money a little slow. But, oh, but, but that, it sound good. Is that, is that like... I ain't, I ain't gonna put it like I don't want to say it like that and make it feel like I'm like attacking you or something like that. Well, no, it's not cap. This shit happened. No, I mean like, is that cool? Is that cool? Like, is that a thing? Is that like, is that a goal for women? Like to get your shit paid like that? Is that a thing? Shit, don't you want to save some money? Is that so? If I could go to work, uh-huh. if I could work forty hours and make the great amount of money that I make and uh-huh. come home and it's still somebody who like, hey, here's your mortgage. You don't think that's great? You don't. Well, think? if you had a dude, would you still allow that to happen? No. You'd be like, oh, stop paying me, Carl. Yeah, that was my nigga. The nigga, uh, the uh, nigga oh, was my nigga. Okay. So you would, move, well, you make it seem like you got like, oh no, you got Ron up the street to pay he your was nails. My nigga, okay. And he went to jail. All right. But he was that fucking nigga. Like right. he the one who like turned me up. Like turn you up. Well, he, he made me from you know when little baby be talk about how he he make a bitch not basic. Like that mm. nigga made me not basic. Okay. Like he was that nigga, mm. and he turned me the fuck up. Did he, like, and was he paid he, my bills. Was he a gang member too, or is no? He, he was a get money nigga. Really? That's it. So like, so you, in Ohio, do you date other gang members? Like, is that a thing? No, I really don't like gang members. Really? Never date a gang member. Why? I'm just, hey, you said it. I'm asking why. I don't know why. I just don't like them to date them. I mean, I dated. I was married to a gang member. Before. Really? You know, I can tell you, I got a divorce. No, I got divorced on February 13, 2020. How long were you married? The day five years. Five years? Yeah. Was that? I mean, was that, was that like, fellas. like, is that so? As as like a documented gang, you know, gangster woman, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, you are the face of the Kitchen Crips. Oh if you gosh. Google Kitchen Crips, she's the face of it. You know what it is. Um, and you did all the hood uh, vlogs and whatnot. Um, you never really talk about that. Like, why? Why don't you talk about that? Is that like a hard time for you? No, it's not even really a hard topic. It's really what like made me rap. Really? The nigga, my husband had went to jail, mm-hmm. and then I didn't have any friends, and I ain't had nobody to talk about the shit with. So the shit that was going on, like it was real shit going on. Like I was really out here, like 
and you just like was like, oh, I'm gonna do this now. Like, like, like it was like a hustle and flow to, type relationship. Remember, hell no. Nah. Remember, <laughs> I told you my cousin got killed. My mm. cousin was the one who started the music, right? And then I stopped when he died. So mm. when he started, like when I didn't have nothing to talk about, mm. and then when my husband went to jail, I was like, damn, I got all shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And I start rapping like about all the shit that you kind of like on. use your life to really push. Yeah, push your music so for real. that's why it's real life because it's real life for real. Like, and then, but he started getting jealous of me and shit, like. Oh, people know you. Oh, you in the studio. Who are you with? Mm. Oh, are you cheating on me? Oh my God, bitches, who suck his dick in the studio? Like, bitch, like I don't even fuck with these kind of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Wait, so what type of dudes do you date then? So that's really hard to say. What do you mean? Because I don't really date a lot. So, so like I've had like four relationships in my whole life and I don't date outside of them. Wow. <laughs> I always go back to my old niggas because it's so hard to get to know new people and my trust and my tolerance level is like super low. Is that because like the life in the streets just taught you like that? Or like So let me get this. Let me tell you. I'm not like from the streets, from the streets. Like I'm a street bitch and all that, but I'm not like in the streets like anymore. Like I'm here. Not girl. anymore, but, not I mean, anymore. but you were though, right? Yeah, but I mean, it didn't have nothing to So I got PTSD hella bad because like, Somebody tried to break in my house and I had to shoot them. That ain't the real story, but that's the real story. I'm going to tell you that. So, then I had to shoot them. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of, like, scarred the fuck out of me because I be feeling like everybody who try and get close to me, like, trying to set me up. So, I really be stuck in my head. It's like PTSD. It's but what fuck. made you feel like that for just a, just a home intrusion made you feel like that? It, wasn't, or you felt like it was bigger than that. I mean, I feel you, but you felt like you were set up, so you felt like... No, I just feel like... It was a person who was really close to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, it was a female. Right. I mean, I feel what you're saying. We I was mean. hella close. And, like, it wasn't nothing. It was just, like, everything after that scored me. Like, if you get shot or if you shoot somebody or something or if, like, you witness a murder or something, like, you're officially, like, fucked up. Mm -hmm. It ain't really nothing. Like, my daughter was on my hip. You know, I shot a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of fuck with me every day, like. I gotta watch my back because the bitch wanna lick back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it just be a lie. So I don't let people get close to me. So because I don't let people get close to me, it's like, well, how are we gonna date? Because I'm not leaving come over my house and I got a kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it just be like a lot of shit like they just don't work. So I just don't. But I, I don't know. So and then when I was married, he was like, he, he was a, a situation. Right. Okay? And when he went to jail, it was just like a lot. Like people was like, oh, well, you know, that's his wife. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it became something not to talk about. Like I started getting turned down for like apartments and stuff because they Googling my name and they like, hey, this <laughs> person's <laughs> a fucking mass person. Oh my God. And I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then it was just like, as I got older, as I was growing, like, the life that I used to live, like, mm. I can't believe I used to live it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I be mm. looking back, like, because I came hella far. Mm. So when I look and I be like, bro, like, I really came from all that. Like, the shit that we see on people doing and shit. Mm. And I be like, damn, like, I straight used to do this. Like, it just make you not even want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because I came so far from it. So, but yeah, I was married. I was with him for like seven years. We was married for like five, but he was in jail like four to five years. Damn. So after so long, like once I started to elevate, the niggas start being like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And like, and it's just like, damn, you feel the type of way, nigga, I'm doing this for us. I'm trying to get it together. I mean, so I, you see, I've been home. in relationships like that where I try to like climb, but they felt as if I was doing it for them. But I'm really doing, I mean, I am, but I'm more so but doing, I'm doing it shit for to me. Be, right. You feel me? Like you want to get these things and this is the way I feel like we can do it. You feel me? So and, if you ain't with it, then get the fuck on. Right. And but that's it, my whole thing. And it's the craziest part because like I grew up kind of sort of like how you're explaining, but like mm -hmm. I, I, I remember living in Salvation Army for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So like my way of, my trust issues, especially like Maddie could tell you about that. It's like, um, I put up thick walls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not because I'm just, uh, I, I want to push people away, but almost in hopes that someone will be strong enough to be like, to push, to, to push, to, to get, get to know through. me. Right. But, and I feel like that's a selfish thing to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's I spend so a lot selfish. of time by myself to, you know what I'm saying? So I really, uh, can understand what you're saying on that aspect, but it's really interesting hearing that your life is so relatable. I, I, I don't want to say it. Like, 
I didn't expect your life not to be so relatable, but being who you, the person that you are and the life that you come from and the background that you have and all the accomplishments that you have done, I would have thought that you would have saw relationships a little bit more differently. You know what I'm saying? You're almost like a, a, a Oprah. You know what I'm saying? You're, Sorry. A, you're a very <laughs> strong, uh, independent woman. And like for Oprah to date, she would almost have to find a male Oprah. But and, you feel me? Look, listen, it's so crazy. Um, It's this guy I started dating when I was like, a freshman in college. Mm-hmm. I was 18. Our birthdays are a day apart. He's so much like me. And we still to this day, like when I go out of town and shit, like he be with me and shit. And it just be crazy because he's straight like a boy me, but he's so different from me. Like he's like the calm me. And, and then me, I'm like the other me. You know what I'm saying? But like, He's not gangster, like he ain't to none of that. Are like, you cool with that? You cool with that? I right? love it. I wouldn't have it no other way. I don't want no nigga that's out here. Is like that it. is that like a normal thing for against female with female like gangster rappers or gangsters? Like y'all like, <laughs> I mean that's what you are though. Like you're a gangster rapper though. You're not like a Taylor Swift. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You're, right. you're, you're like a. You, I don't you're know. Thug, bro. I don't so really. You talking about shooting think, niggas and shit? I don't even think he even know like the. How magnitude. the fuck is that possible? Because I'm fucking me. What are you saying? You make me feel Could like. Could you imagine like. How do you how do you dating Beyonce but not realize you dating Beyonce? He, no, 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 no. He know he dating Beyonce, but he don't know. I, he don't know that I really think he Jay Z. What? what? He really Jay Z to me for real, and he don't know that. Like he probably know. Like damn, like I drove this nigga crazy in college. You know what I'm saying? I draw that nigga crazy, and he still love me. Like that's my nigga. Like that's you know what I'm saying. Like if somebody was to be like, but he don't know Jai. Hell yeah, he know Jai Rika. Oh wow. Yeah, he know me, know me. Like we. But just, but but you said like. I said he don't know that I love him the way I oh, love him. Like okay. he don't know that he Jay Z and I'm Beyonce. Why why haven't you told him? I, just, that, I, be, I I thought that he knew, but is I it just, hard for you to express your feelings? It's hella hard for me to express you, my feelings. You do you express it but like let a, me tell you, this nigga, Hey, boy, I like you. I want you. I used to when I was oh like my 18. God. That's Are how you I real? got him. Oh, that's how I got him. I was like, oh, boy, what you doing? I don't like your shit. <laughs> let me shoes, put your pickle up. <laughs> but I'm finna come. I like you, though. Pause. Then, no homo. You so. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I had to think about it. But yeah. yeah. So um, he don't really know that. And it's hard for me to express my feelings. So when we be around each other, like, I be hella girly. Like. <laughs> Your palm get all sweaty and shit. Yes, the blunt hard to roll and whatnot. He don't even be knowing. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does he, he not know? Knowing. He do know. He know. He, he he know he got it, but he don't know he got it. Yeah, you know? that's see, that's the crazy is. thing. He don't know now because that's I'm the crazy telling thing you. about women though. Because like when I were in my dating history, especially uh, you know when I was really recently talking to people and whatnot, uh, women don't. Ex- Communicate as well as y'all think y'all do. You we know don't. What I'm and y'all assume y'all want men to assume like what y'all want to eat, how you're feeling, how to fuck you, how to rub you down. All right. But like, but if we do, if if Monday we're like, oh, she, we we gonna whip out the ice cube. She likes that shit. But then, but Tuesday we're supposed to know you don't want that. But then we go try to do the same thing. You're like, oh no, nah, right? <laughs> so it's like, fuck. It's kind of hard. You feel me? I ain't, I'm hella easy. Like, please me however you want. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. But the whole thing is, um. When I was like, I was like I said, I was hella different. Like I was hella aggressive back then. Mm-hmm. Like, and then now it be like now when he be around me, he be like, she's not like that no more. Oh, you, you want you want saying? your feet rubbed? Da, na, na, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Na, 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 like, I talk to him. Na, na. I talk to him like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh my like, god, dude. So yeah, but like I just don't know how to date nobody new. Like, and he don't even know. Is like, that? Or is that? I be going like. Is that because you're scared? No, I just don't. So you just have to. I just don't live the type of life where I could date anybody. Why? Why do you feel like that? Because I'm a fucking famous gang- gangster rapper. Ain't Apparently, that what you just said? look, see again. There you go. You said it. You said it. Famous gangster rapper. You that's said it. it. You already knew it. I know. Yeah, that's but that why. doesn't mean nothing. So, uh, what? Gwen Stefani's uh, be, married no, to. No, niggas can- get intimidated so easily. <clears throat> Find you a beta male. I, I I got a man who me. Find you a beta He's just male. A male. Find you a little sucker fish. Where you the big fish? I don't want that. Well. If I talk to him crazy, he be like, Dad, don't talk to me like no, that. No, like, okay, yes, ma'am. No, I don't want no nigga who like, yes, ma'am. I want a nigga who be like, hey, babe. Yeah, see, hey, then, babe, you get, then you get bros like me, like me like and then that. we intimidating and whatnot. See that? Y'all heard that. Oh, I don't want a man. I'm like, then I'm like, shut niggas up. And y'all like, oh, he's doing too much. Niggas, niggas get intimidated easily because I'm like very dominant. You know what I'm saying? So like, the I was married, like I said. The nigga, when we was living in Atlanta, I was making like, a twelve dollars at Kroger's, and he was making like nine dollars at AutoZone. And he he's like, at you like different. Oh my God, I don't care that you coming home with a raise every week. Like, damn, my bad. I thought I was getting money for both of us. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. So, Niggas what is be- what is your 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 
Boo, you, I'm divorced, boo. What's your new boo do? He like, oh, cool, thank you. That's you're dope, so man. crazy. What? what does he do? You, is, he, is he different? What are you talking about? Come on, let's go. I mean, he's a businessman. So he'd be like more chill about it? He's so chill. He'd be like, hey, oh, babe, that's, I that's really cool. love your music. Uh, oh, my God. He said like, it like that? No, he just played my music when he, he was like, hey, friends. when I'm in there with uh, Steve Jobs, I'm really listening to that. When he with his track. friends, he'd be playing my music so On they know it's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is my, this job right here. <laughs> this type to me. I don't yeah, want no nigga who like you. You me. like simple, funny. You know. What I'm I saying? know people don't even know that about me. Funny as hell. People be thinking that I'm like this big thug, and then people. I mean, me that, they be like, I mean, you you ride around with a full five all day, you know. Definitely got the Glock definite? on me right now. She's, you heard that whole the whole definite came definitely out. Definitely got the Glock on me. Yo, so but, so how does it feel going from Ja Rica to Ja Kitchen and linking with people, uh, and also uh sorry, linking with people like Thirty Deep Grimy. So I was actually Jay Boney first. Jay Boney. And then I, well, I was Jarika from the Gigo. And then I turned up a little bit when I was like 14 and I turned into Jay Boney. And then it was like, okay, ain't nobody really calling me that. So I went back to Jarika. So transitioning, um, it was crazy because every part of my life I feel like has meant something tremendous. So actually, hold up. Go ahead. It's break time. Yo, we're going to actually quit to a short break real quick and we're gonna give a brief shout out to this episode sponsor which is Raider Rod out of Jacksonville North Carolina owned by Ryan Schnooks the fastest AMA racer on the east coast right now currently took an injury but he's back in the races come next week also shout out to Harm the Karma Tattoo out of Jacksonville North Carolina owned by the great Will and he's Harry Hito out there tearing up with the east with the ink man you know what it is and also Dustin's custom carpentry look him up on Facebook and Instagram and all that he does all your remodeling for your bathrooms kitchens Decks, patios, playgrounds, you know what it is, man. Shout them out. Dustin's Custom Country. And we'll be right back. <laughs> and we back. But, um, so you said, you were talking about the whole area that you said you had family that stayed on 4th Street here? Yeah, my sister lived on 4th Street in Vine. And it was really haunted and scary. <laughs> like, the doorbell I used to ring by itself. I mean, Alden is top five haunted See, in, the, in the country, actually. Um, and when you were talking about earlier off camera about the uh, the area, it actually changed history three times. Because, uh, what, Abraham Lincoln's assassins from Halton, John F. Kennedy's assassins was from Halton, and Martin Luther King's assassins from Halton. What? Yeah. All time right, some killers. Uh, some straight <laughs> killers, you feel me? That's fucking wild. Like, um... <laughs> <laughs> that was a great... <laughs> yeah, it's recording. You want to say hi to the camera since you're there? Right. No? Tell them hi. Go ahead. No, you're right there. You want to say hi? No. You want to go say hi? Go ahead. They're right there. They're right there. Just They're right just there. They're right there. You're right. No, you got to get in front of it. Right there. You got to get close. Come. Oh, okay, go on. That works. That okay, works. Okay, go on. <laughs> uh, um, but you want to wrap a song real quick? Who? You want to wrap a song real quick? You want me to? Yeah, what's up? Are you already going to? Do you freestyle? Yeah, you freestyle. I got you. You know, wait, I mean, do you want to put something on? We, can put we don't have to turn on anything. I can all right, switch you some bars. Oh, all right, cool. Do your thing then. I ain't going to say like, nothing. Like, what you talking about? Do your thing. I ain't going to say what nothing. What you want me to talk about? Dang, I wish I had some headphones hey, on. Big kitchen hit the scene with a hope and a dream. Just a small city bitch, but I'm worldwide. From the loo, where's me? Right fat with a beam. When I hit the west coast, I'm in the drop top. We ain't got palm trees, no sand, no beach. Just some young, hungry niggas with some big glocks. Take a trip or a week, I'll work, no sleep. Going hard, yeah, they finna see me at the top. Man, damn, I done turned up a lot. Ride with them Dracos and ride with them chops. Made it off Natural Bridge, now I'm on Slauson. Still from the trenches, approach me with caution. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Fire. Period, Fire. no cap. Period. Yo, um, so you was talking last time we, we started up in here before like the whole thing that Shabako happened. Um, that your kitchen and like Oh, thirty D Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um yeah. Thirty D Grammy is a neighborhood crib. Right. That he a six dudes uh, crib or whatever they consider neighborhood. So in California, kitchen was the first set of crips that wasn't neighborhood or whatever. So, um, it's a little liquor store. It's called Kitchen. It was Kitchen Liquor, or whatever. Pretty much how everything like came thing, about. Like still exists today. Well, it's um, it you know how shit changed and shit over the years, but it's still a store, okay. <laughs> um, that that we got in the hood. But what in St. Louis is like primarily East Coast crib. Mm-hmm. Like it's not really a lot of kitchen crib, mm-hmm. but that's because like it was already a six dudes hood in place, and then well. 
it was some people from Cali who came down. It was an East Coast crib and a, and a kitchen crib. And in California, they like rivals or whatever, but they had, they was all in jail together. And they came down to St. Louis and it became Six Deuce and Kitchen, you know, and that was just it. So it was like one neighborhood. And then I got some cousins who extended the kitchen to the Ville, to North Market or whatever. So grimy them from the Ville, but they from the Six Deuce side of the Ville. Like, it's really not a lot. Like, a more, the people who kitchen is like majorly like, the grown like the older people like the g's because then they all went to jail and stuff so would not nobody put nobody on kitchen mm-hmm. because you know they was fucking all locked up so um not even that it's just like you can't it, it take a special kind of person to be kitchen like everybody can't be kitchen for real right so but grimy them them like in st louis yeah we like the same thing like people say kitchen they say six dudes they think it's all the same but in California, if you go down there and you like that same thing, they gonna look at you like you crazy. Like, what the hell was you talking about? Really? Yeah, because it used to be like big beef, like you know, like. So, so each set is different, like geographically. No, not really. It's not supposed to be, but it was just the way the kitchen came to St. Louis. We still good, Joe? All right, cool. The way the kitchen came to St. Louis is really um, it made it different. Everywhere else, though, like kitchen in a lot of different states. Mm-hmm. It's all the same for real across the board everywhere, but like some states just be different. Like people don't understand what the fuck St. Louis gang banging is. They're like, we don't know. It's shit confusing. It is. is, what the is fuck. I mean, is it really confusing? Is it really unique? Yeah, it's like, confusing. Everywhere? I mean, I mind my business. We don't really bang hoods though. I mean, we don't bang like colors. Like you know what I'm saying? We bang our neighborhoods in St. Louis, mm. and that's the thing. So like. Like in St. Louis, it ain't really about if you a cripple or blood. It's really about what hood you from. Is that like, like the Chicago set? How that works? Like when they say like, I'm banging 63rd, I'm from the O Block. Yeah, not? it's like that. But mm-hmm. our streets got names and shit, you know. But it's um, it's kind of confusing because people still want to be like noticed by crip and blood. So it make it like hella confusing because like who made this? Like who told y'all this was how it went? Like who said this? <laughs> Like some of the older games, like that you could tell the times that changed. Like the shit started off original as hell, like hella original, and then like it got watered, up, like watered down over the years. You know, with the music, with people going to jail, just every have, fucking thing. Have you it's, been to jail? No, I mean I just sat down and waited and seen if they was gonna, if the judge was gonna fucking issue a warrant. But by the grace of God, I don't know how. I know how because I be everything happened for a reason. Right. So I've been in several situations that could have cost me my life. Mm-hmm. Like um, I caught a couple cases, but I really never served no jail time. Like you know what I'm saying? Well, like I was always blessed. Like oh, well, when you went through those hardships, what got you through it? You know what I'm saying? Man, my music. I have the right. If you listen to my music, like that's why people will be like, "Well, we don't really know who the fuck she is because my music is really what the fuck was going on." Like mm. I'm talking about shoot 'em up, bang bangs, like that shit for real. Like, and the only thing that would release like all of that is like if I'm listening to a beat and I could like put that shit down on the beat. But other than that, it, I don't talk to nobody. I told you I'm really like private. What, what so what's, your, what's your what's your take on OnlyFans? Would like a female gangster rapper start OnlyFans and still be viewed as a gangster? Them be the hoes who sell pussy. It is some of them. It's some female gangsters and they sell cat, good cat on back page. She said good cat. I guess you know. I, I mean, what, what makes you think it's good or bad? Uh, shit, because they popping that motherfucker on the internet. You um, know, back page OnlyFans. I'm not a fan of that. I just I'm not a fan of the like sex involved music you know what i'm saying like, like the whole Nicki minaj shit i'm stuff. not into that like it just make me cringe i don't know why it make me cringe. that's how i feel like i, I be listening to, i listen to this girl uh this artist called cupcake you feel mm-hmm. me i didn't like be like oh let me go pop it right. like, who is she you know right I mean? let the me first i want to suck a big dick down my th- i'm like god damn like yeah. hold up like hold ease into this shit they just go so far but and why, just, but it seemed like a market for that shit it is and i mean if that's what you want to be known by i don't want to be known as the bitch who rapping about sucking big dick you know what i'm saying i don't be walking around sucking big dick so i can't rap about it you know what i'm saying like i would be capping in my rap i'm fucking dead dude i don't around <laughs> doing all that so i can't for I real I, I make I, a song I, I rap about murder because that's what i go around doing i don't kill people I, I probably have sex like three times out the year and Stop i make a playing with me right now no for real how old are you how, maddie am i lying how old are you 28 your sex job that slow 
No, I just I do you. I'm not my regular person. I'm asking a question. You said three I'm times a year. I'm fucking telling you. There seems to be a logical reason behind that. Like because you have to be a month. I got bougie coochie. I got bougie coochie. What? Bougie coochie. What does that mean? That mean anybody just can't hit this. I thought bougie was cheap. Like what? I thought bougie was was cheap. Like I'm a bougie. Like I got a you know bad and bougie. You bad and cheap. You feel me? That's not what that means. I thought it's the opposite, boo. He didn't know. It's the opposite. Whatever, man. I'm gonna chalk it up to me growing up with my grandma, man. She didn't well, say Well, basically, I feel like that because I just feel like I'm a. What's fucking... your criteria? What's the criteria? What you gotta meet to you know? It's a vibe thing. It's you just a vibe. That's it. I mean, I gotta feel you but your vibe gotta be on you point. heard that she gotta feel you yeah i just can't be just out here fucking a nigga but what's the other criteria what else what does a guy gotta meet to get to you like what does he gotta meet i what's don't the know because you, you I gotta have a, a, a least drive a no a hemi? this you ain't drive a hemi boo my man drive a benz you don't like trucks that's they what's, cool. What's, that's you said a Hemi though, like yeah, you know, a fast. No, nah, I just kind of. Oh, well, right. I'm just saying, like I ain't. I, even, I, she, he got a, a Chevy <laughs> that's lifted up. So look, this the whole thing. The thing is, my bad. What? The thing is, I don't know how to meet people, so I always go back to the so same people ever, from my past. You ever gonna change? You ever gonna date an Asian dude? You did Asian people before? I've never dated. I know who I want to date. When what? I was. Well, you technically you don't know who you date because you said I don't want to experience nothing new because I got. Trust issues. I do. So when you gonna experience So the person new? I don't want to date, I've been want to date them my whole life. And I told That's them it? when I get when married, you, when, when we turn said. thirty, I told this one person when we turn thirty, we want to get married and have kids. I told them that like ten years ago, uh-huh. and we still like in agreement to that. Like. That's what I was just talking about. Like, yeah, baby, when we turn 30, we're getting married and having kids. Wait, the prison dude or the guy that you're talking to right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> I get confused, man. I'm a, See, look, look, man, I got a lot of girlfriends. You feel me? They be telling stories okay, like this. So I forget. The niggas in jail. I don't talk to niggas in jail. Okay, not so if you go to jail, I'm jumping the fuck out the car. Right, wow. So I'm not talking about none of them. You're not st- all right, bet. You're talking about the guy. I done had my first shirt. I got you. I'm about talking about my man from college. That's the still my man. Right now. I ain't with him. We ain't officially in a relationship. What, what but you, that's my y'all, man. y'all touching right now? Yeah, that's Jesus my man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see, I gotta get to that. Like, and that's the same thing. You feel me? Goddamn. So, anyway, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's why. Because I just don't be feeling like so everybody he... can get up. Like, what? First of all, I'm a million dollar ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't wrong. So I can't just be letting a nigga be like, "What's up, baby?" Like trying to run some game. Back shots. Because then I'm gonna be like, "No, you know what I'm saying?" Right. Like, nigga, no, I don't want to fuck you. Like, you giving me pick me vibes? Like, no. Pick me vibes. What these niggas be pick me as fuck? What's what's pick me mean? Pick me means I want to be the nigga. Oh. Hey. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Oh. Like oh. you know what I'm saying? Like it'll be a nigga like in my phone blowing my phone up, and then it'll be a bum ass bitch. Like, girl, look what's going. I'll be like. Damn, that nigga think he could fuck with both of us. Like, bitch, we ain't even oh, the y'all, same. Oh, y'all y'all talk like that. I had a girl do that one time with me and my cousin. I don't even like that because, bitch, I don't even fuck with the same kind of niggas you would fuck with. So why you thought that? She's like, oh, we fuck with the same nigga. Bitch, we do not fuck with the same nigga. He just thirsty Darryl as fuck. Daryl from down the street with the Gerard Ger- Ger- the Benz, the Monte Carlo. He just. Uh, man, that, he pick up my mail, bitch. He, he just is. thirsty as hell. <laughs> like, the nigga been thirsty for years. Like, it just be little shit like that. Like, that's why I don't want to fuck with nobody. Because when I start getting in my feelings and shit, then mm. I want to kill everybody. Damn. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I get hella, like, drama. And I don't focus on my music and shit. So, I just think it's better I for me I just think about be, murder. It, I just think it's better <laughs> for me to be in a relationship by myself. You sound like you need a dildo and a lot of lube. No, I just smoke a lot of weed. No, you need a like a gun. Like you know, they got them drills. That I don't z-z-z-z. need a drill like you that. You need like a Glock I shaped just dildo. To, if I could, if I lived with somebody like you, I you get on rough their nerves. As hell. Did you hear what you just said? When I get in my feelings, I just think about no, for real. A motherfucker ain't never played with you. You be like, ooh. Oh, those feelings. Oh, got you. What you thought I was talking about? Whenever you feeling any type of way, I'm sorry. No, when I feel the type of way, I start talking like this. Oh my god! I meant the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Anywho. For real, but with them other feelings, like when a motherfucker playing with me, and I be like, "Damn, this nigga playing with See, me." I get called crazy though. See, I'm so nice. I get like crazy I, don't, too. I don't look. I ain't no nice guy. I don't believe in that shit. I'm a decent human being, like I said earlier. You feel me? Um, but I'm gonna treat a motherfucker accordingly. So rather I'm a nice person, like a, a gentleman or an asshole, I treat you accordingly. You feel me? But whenever I let people push me just enough, you feel me, to the point where I'm like, yo, I exasperated every 
freaking excuse and for you. And then you like finna explode. And then, oh, then you then crazy. Pop, pop, pop. Then you crazy. You feel you know me? What I'm, saying? I'm, I'm intense. I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm letting you know that you what the fuck up. I feel like. You and fucked it's up. Just that. And you I'm, fucked up. I'm a Capricorn, you know. But back to the motherfucking thing. You a Capricorn? He just was trying to cut me off because I'm a Capricorn. Hold on, you a Capricorn? Yeah, my birthday, January 5th, boo. Oh, shit. I don't be giving out my birthday like that. Well, my birthday, January 5th. Cash out me on January 5th. What's your cash out? <laughs> Jack Kitchens. Dollar sign, Jack Kitchens. J A I K T C H N Z Boo. What? Yeah, real deal Capricorn. And people can't deal with us for real. And I think. What? Don't you? What? 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 I just feel like. I felt this point. What? What did you got to say? I just feel like I'm you got to be a special. You a Capricorn? Is he a Capricorn? I Why'd you ask like, her for? Like, she gonna know. Cause she know. Fuck she, don't, talking about. Stop she don't know. My she clearly said no. You not a Capricorn. She clearly. What? Oh, oh, that's why you my nigga. What the fuck does that mean? You know we the same. <laughs> we ain't the same, same, but we like, like. So what is this, your favorite podcast, what you trying to say? I do, I love you. You my nigga, for real, no cap. I feel like you my brother. So wait, hold up, pause, pause. What? Oh, that's a cosign forever then. What? That's cool. See, that's how niggas be feeling. <laughs> that's how niggas be feeling. Damn, oh my God, she said I'm her nigga, yes. It's no, motherfucker. Know. I thought I made a friend. You did make a friend. You, I'm just why you gotta you be this. extra like that, dude? You go, <laughs> you, why you, you just like the niggas? Because, no. no we just, just, why can I be happy, motherfucker? Bro, we I'm was cool. Just you, I'm like, damn, shit. Bro, we was just talking about this. And you was like, well, why don't you date? And I was like, because people Man, don't I didn't say know. it like, because you that motherfucker. I'm just cool that you said it. You motherfucker. Like, oh, we friends. I'm happy whenever someone says that. You friend. is my nigga for real. I feel good with anybody you my say that. Damn. I told you we like. But you're like, oh, that's how them niggas feel. The universe put us together. I mean, for real, though. No, I'm telling you. I believe that. I talked to, uh... Uh, uh, Sude God, uh, the studio the God, studio God about you told that. Him I shot yeah, because we got the same birthday month. Oh my God, that's this my is the fourteenth. That's my nigga. I swear, I'll show you right now. There's my dude. Shout out to Jay. I'll show you. Hey, studio God, I love you, bro. <laughs> I love you, my Y'all guy. Y'all actually remind me a lot of each other. Stop for playing. Real. No cap. Stop playing. He's so into it. Hey, we gotta, gotta have an interview. Man. We coming. You you getting the interview? We going to L A. What? We going to L A? Here in L A. Wait, we going to L A? We going to L A. We going to L A. I'm gonna take you to L A. And we gonna go do the interview. We taking Goldie's room on the road, bro. Yeah, bro, them for it. Y'all you just gotta that? buy your own plane tickets. But other than that, we good. Oh, y'all get your own plane tickets. All right, cool. But we going though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when we yeah, uh, we going to Cali. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna call him right now. I'm okay. gonna call him right now. Okay. I'm gonna call him right now. Uh, if you don't answer, I swear. I'm, I'm supposed to be in Cali in the studio right now. Stop oh playing with me, dude. <laughs> call him. I'm, call, I'm calling him right now. <laughs> you see it, call it. Now, if you answer, that's that's if what. If he it, don't answer, I'm just gonna FaceTime. Oh, you better stop playing. We're gonna see. Cause oh. he, he said, we're gonna see. I'm gonna FaceTime the nigga. Damn, why you gonna? Oh, he didn't answer. He didn't it's okay. It. I'm finna FaceTime. Oh, he gonna answer for you? He gonna answer for me because wow. he's my nigga. Wow. Fuck me. No, nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, anyways, but yeah, though, we taking this shit on the road. But yeah, that's. No, I thought um, about that before because, like, there's a guy and um, he's the the f- black skydiver. He's a black skydiver. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's the first one to do, jump over the pyramids of Giza. Mm-hmm. Um, but he can only do Zoom, but he's over there and I'm interested to do that. No, oh, my mama. This hell of interesting. That'd be cool. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like super fun. So how did you meet the studio guy anyway? I lived in Ohio. He's from Ohio. Oh. I lived in Columbus, Ohio. Really, Columbus was like the eye opener. I bet you don't answer. He probably won't answer. I'm supposed to be there right now in Cali. Oh. Um, I missed my flight. American had some network shit going on, so they gave me a voucher. Anyways. So we 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 taking plane or we road tripping? We taking a fucking plane, bro. Yeah. That's the longest like drive. Like a PJ plane? No, I ain't got it like that yet. <laughs> Why don't you get a nigga that got that? I mean, my man gonna get it one day. <laughs> I got a plane, nigga. I got a. I'm gonna get it one day. I got a riding nigga. I don't even want all them niggas. Yo, I want yo, niggas. why don't you? You're gonna be crazy. You heard uh, Quavo? He he paid five grand a day for his assistant. Yo, would you do that? Would you make Maddie your assistant? If I had the money, Word? if I had the money, we would have been on. Where? Oh my God! What Are you independent? Yeah, I'm independent. You ain't gonna sign on a label? No. Why not? I like the way I'm doing it. It's it make you um it make you appreciate it more. Yeah, like I don't want nobody like okay, this what you do, this what you do, like a fucking robot. Like I appreciate like going and meeting people. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. dropping however much music I want to drop whenever the fuck I want to. Like. Going and running my own shit, but it's moving real slow though. I get discouraged sometimes because it moves so fucking slow. Like sometimes I be like, oh, I because I got a good ass job. 
So that's how I feel about doing the podcasting sometimes. Because for me, it feels like there's like a, uh, it's a slow grind. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But it makes a lot of like interviews like this makes it worth it. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. like I mean, when you look at who you are and look at who we, who I am, and we're collabing and really telling a story, and this uh, is for you. You feel me? Like it's, it helps build a rapport for you as an artist. You feel yeah. me? Cause like, like yeah, they would just know you as a gangster rap artist. But you they feel don't me? Really and, know but then me. when you have interviews like this, each interview is a bitter. It's a little bit more of a piece of you is how I'm starting to see it uh, as a podcaster and, uh, and learning my craft a little bit better, you know, because um, I'll, I'll start off actually watching and listening to uh, No Jumper and mm-hmm. Adam 22 and whatnot. And that kind of was like, wow, I really like this. Like mm-hmm. and, um, having my background um, interviewing people, um, it really helped me get out of my social norms mm-hmm. and uh, break barriers within myself. Like I, I'm meeting so many people and, like, it's, so and it's like, wow, you feel me? Like it's all, all this is off the strength of me. You feel me? Just me. Just you. Not like an industry push. No, not like, oh, hey, nobody. Let me pay you for this interview. Like we met genuinely or organically. And I think that that's, um, well, is a powerful tool if anyone's aspiring to be an artist or anything like that i think you should make genuine connections with your that's people that's why i appreciate being independent because it's like me in control of who the fuck i come in contact with and it's just like i can like i was saying on another interview like bro i can go to any state and i'm straight you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like you need anything you good i got you what you, you can need. call on job kitchen you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but and it, i appreciate the fuck out of it like i appreciate the people that i come across way more than me dropping music and shit like i do that shit in my sleep oh, like God. literally like but before you slide out job you know what it is man i it's a, been a pleasure i always like it when you slide in when we talk and our communication is always on point um but you got any shout outs before you slide Shout out to everybody who fuck with me. I got love for everybody who got love for me. And I'm hella chill right now because I smoke some good ass weed. Hey, and I rolled it. That was my weed. Shout out. You didn't roll it. Maddie rolled well, it. Uh, it was your weed. Uh, it was my weed. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Maddie. She all the way here from Philly to Memphis to fucking South Dakota, back to St. Louis, all around the world. Shout out all to All around the world. And yo, shout out to the episode sponsors. You already know who it is. Ready to ride. Harm the Karma Tattoo, Dustin's Custom Carpentry. Check them out. Facebook, Instagram, all, all that. All that. This is Goni's Room, baby, where the music is hot. Shout out to the team behind chill. the scenes, too. I'm Ruby. That guy is cool your fucking baby daddy. And we out.